Data analysis Types of statistical methods Descriptive statistics and inferential statistics Non-parametric and parametric tests Data analysis Uses analytical and logical reasoning to gain information from the data. The main purpose of data analysis is to find meaning in data, so that the derived knowledge can be used to make informed decisions. The two main statistical methods used in data analysis are First, descriptive statistics, which describes and summarizes data from a sample. Data is analyzed through measure of frequency, dispersion, central tendency, and position. The second type is inferential statistics, which uses data collected from a sample to make decisions, predictions, or inferences from a population. Analysis of data involves tests of differences and relationships between different sets of data. The descriptive statistical tests applicable for nominal data include Frequency, which measures the number of occurrences of each nominal data of the variable and mode, which is a type of descriptive statistic that researchers use to determine the most frequently occurring value of variable in a data set. For ordinal data, the descriptive statistical tools include the frequency and mode. Other descriptive statistical tools that can be used include the median. This is used to determine which variable in the data set is at the center. We can also use the percentile, which indicates the percentage of scores that fall below a particular value. And the range, which measures the variability, or how far apart data points lie from each other. For interval data, the descriptive statistical tools include also those being used in nominal and ordinal data, which are the frequency, mode, median, percentile, and range. In addition, there are other descriptive statistical tools used for interval data which include The mean, this measures the average of the interval data sample provided the standard deviation, this illustrates the spread of data relative to the mean. And variance, it is used to illustrate how much of a spread exists in the data. For ratio data, the descriptive statistical tools include those being used in interval data such as frequency, mode, median, percentile, and range. You may also use the mean, standard deviation, and variance. Other additional descriptive statistical tools used for ratio data include Ratios, used as a comparison of two data terms expressed as a fraction or quotient. The coefficient of variation, CV, the ratio of the standard deviation to the mean. The higher the coefficient of variation, the greater the level of dispersion around the mean. It is generally expressed as a percentage. The lower the value of the coefficient of variation, the more precise the estimate. Under the inferential statistical methods, we have the non-parametric tests of medians for ordinal data. Wilcoxon signed rank test. This is a non-parametric test used to compare two groups of matched samples. This test allows a researcher to conclude that the median of variable from one sample is greater, or lesser than another variable from the same sample. Mann-Whitney U-Test This is a non-parametric test used to compare two groups from independent samples. 
This test allows a researcher to conclude that median of a variable from one sample is greater or lesser than another variable from another sample. Kruskal-Wallis test. This is a non-parametric test used to compare more than two groups from independent samples. This test concludes whether the median of three or more groups is varied. It will show the difference between more than two ordinal data groups. Also under the inferential statistical methods, we have the parametric tests of means for interval and ratio data. Paired samples t-test, this is used to compare two sample population means, where both samples consist of the same test subject. This test allows a researcher to conclude that the mean of variable from one sample is greater or lesser than another variable from the same sample. Independent samples t-test, this is used to compare two sample population means, where both samples consist of distinct test subjects. This test allows a researcher to conclude that mean of a variable from one sample is greater or lesser than another variable from another sample. Next is the one-way ANOVA, which stands for Analysis of Variance. This compares means across three or more groups. This test concludes whether the mean of three or more independent groups is varied. It will show the difference between more than two data groups. It's also very important to point out that all the non-parametric tests on rank data have their equivalent parametric tests for quantitative data. The Wilcoxon signed rank test matches the paired samples t-test. And the Mann Whitney U test corresponds to the independent samples T test. While the Kruskal Wallace test is sometimes called the one way ANOVA for ranks. Thus, the decision of which statistical test to use depends not just on the number of groups, but also on the type of data collected. Also under the inferential statistical methods, we have the non-parametric tests of relationships for categorical data. The chi-square test of independence. A non-parametric test that assesses whether an association exists between two variables. It tests to see if they are related, or differ from each other. The non-parametric tests of relationships for ordinal data. The Spearman rank order correlation, or Spearman correlation for short, measures the strength and direction of association that exists between two ordinal variables. It evaluates the monotonic relationship between two ordinal variables. In a monotonic relationship, the variables tend to change together, but not necessarily at a constant rate. Also, the Spearman correlation coefficient is based on the ranked values for each variable rather than the raw data. The parametric tests of relationships for interval and ratio data. Pearson's correlation, also called Pearson's R, is a parametric test that evaluates the linear relationship between two variables. A relationship is linear when a change in one variable is associated with a proportional change in the other variable. The Pearson's correlation measures the strength and direction of association that exists between two variables measured on an interval or ratio scale. It attempts to draw a line of best fit through the data of two variables, and the Pearson correlation coefficient R, indicates how far away all these data points are from this line of best fit.